So we're starting my my first detrimental weapon, in my opinion, is the sun on a stick. Right, what's detrimental about it? I think that the sun on the stick is ultimately just a useless weapon when it comes down to what you're doing with it. Scout doesn't need to mess around with pyros, in my opinion. Scout should just be running away and like peppering with like a secondary of some sort. Shouldn't really right. be on fire any like at any time. Yeah, so what's detrimental about it? It's just stats that you don't need. It's the thing that Drake was talking about earlier, the what is it, error of error of Yeah, but it's a scout melee. If it was his primary and it was really bad, then it would be detrimental, but it's a scout melee, so I would just put it in bad. That's fair. Son on stick. Uh oh. We've got a bunch of Sun on a Stick opinions. Sun on a Stick doesn't need to exist. I think it's on bad but not detrimental because at least it has fire resistance. I can I can be I can be turned on this one. I think that the Sun on a Stick is not I just I honestly never use it. That's the biggest I mean, thing. That's the biggest problem. I'm gonna pull up the yeah, stats but, on the side too, because I okay. can't remember. The the wor yeah, the worst thing about it is that you have to rely on pyros being around you to get value out of it. Mm -hmm. it I guess that that isn't detrimental, though. No, it's not. But it's it's sh should it ignite people on its own, or would that be really annoying to deal with? Should it ignite people? I think that I would say no, because you have the what three if the room blade. was really short. I mean, that would be nicer, but you have the three rune blade. That does ultimately that same thing, except on miss, it hurts you. So I don't think that Scout needs another weapon that does that. I think that the Son on the Stick should have some sort of like, like Rap Assassin esque little fireball. I think that that would be cooler. But still, that's Afterburn on a Scout running it around. It is, it is ambitious. Yeah. Maybe that should be like a like a you get a kill with the sun on a stick, then you have a fireball that you can use. I feel there's, like that's a good lot. risk reward. There's a lot you could do with it, but uh, I agree. It's a wasted. It's, it's a wasted it's, item. I think it's a or wasted idea, rather. Yeah, I, I are saying, don't think we have to. Sorry, what was it? People, people are saying, I think it should do no damage and just make fart sounds. I think Sonon Stick could be an okay reskin for Rap Assassin, if I'm talking like that. That would be pretty neat. I would be mm -hmm. fine with that. But it is Maybe. a cool idea. It should have something to do, right? And then the next one in detrimental tier we both have. Yeah, Sandman. Let's have Sandman is bad. It's You should never use it anymore. Um, yeah, so the max health penalty, like when it, when the ball was good, the max health penalty wasn't an issue, but now you just can't get enough out of the ball. The ball. So I feel like this, the solution to that would be to just, um, sorry, say what you were going to say. It, the ball is broken, right? The stun mechanic if you get hit, well, don't yeah. you just strafe left and right super fast and then that's not it? that's not an issue with the Sandman. That's an issue with the slowdown mechanic itself. The same thing happens with the Natasha and the Bonk Atomic Punch. Okay. So well, so then yeah. you hit the ball. It does however much damage, and that's it for minus fifteen health. I don't think that's worth it at all. No, it's not. Um, I think if they fix the slowdown mechanic, it still wouldn't be good. I think. If they got rid of the max health penalty uh, and gave it a different downside, then maybe it's like a nice little. Uh... Hold on, I'm getting messaged on Discord about this. You get a message on Rap Discord about your opinion? Yes. Too? Yeah, my friend said the rap assassin should have the Sandman's max health penalty. Tell him, uh, tell him to join he, the stream and give us give us opinions. He'll, he'll probably show that. up in chat. We want that. Also, follow while you're here. <coughs> yeah. God, excuse me. Um. Weird. 
Yeah, what do you think? I what think... would I think that the Sandman deserves a different downside. I think well, I know yeah. that the slow mechanic is fucked up. It doesn't work. Um right. and it's such a cool idea for a weapon, especially since Scout is the baseball guy. Like that's a big defining yeah. part of his character. So this should be a cool weapon. I think that giving a weapon a slowdown mechanic just makes everybody feel bad. You feel bad when you hit it because it doesn't work. They feel bad when they get hit because now they have to strafe and it's just, you know, whatever. It's like the, it reminds me of the Scorch Shot a little bit in that way. Yeah, I mean, Not as they severe, could, but... They could do something different, like like a ranged sort of fan of war. That would be cool. Okay. Yeah, so so marked on er, marked for death, right? That's a MVM upgrade that it has. Yeah, yeah, super yeah. Fun. That, super yeah. fun. Super fun to play with. But then you'd also kind of have to make the fan of war better. Yeah, you'd have to give it something different. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to think follows after this, though. Because video. Um... Yeah, I agree. I think that it just needs something, some sort of different downside, and I don't think that max health penalty should be the 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 bad part for Scout. Now here, now here, this is one I'm very. I think we're moving on now. This is yep. uh, one I'm very passionate about. I think the candy canes downside is worse than the Sandman's downside. Mm -hmm. The the what is that? Damn it! Or penalty against. Uh, uh, Explosives? You take, you take, yeah, so 25% more damage taken from explosives on the candy That's train, right. and just like 15 less health in the Sandman. A small health pack is dropped when the player kills an enemy, regardless of what weapon the player has. Yes. The the thing with that is, oh. it's not it's not useful. Isn't it? No, because it's like, what, 25 health for you? The enemies can also pick up the health pack. That's um, true. And you you feel so squishy running around. Now, I people always disagree with me on this, so I don't expect you to agree with me. I don't expect chat to agree with me. I'm of the opinion that the candy cane is the worst melee weapon in the entire game. Wow, the worst weapon yeah. in the entire game. Yeah. I think. I, I think that it's scout. It's Pyro's fire axe that makes that not true. That weapon is useless. More than useless. Like, there's no reason to right. use it because there exists just an automatically better one. Right, 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 right. But that's... There's useless, and then there's detrimental, which is on a lower tier, in my so opinion. So you think that the damage vulnerability is not worth, in the least, for getting those, those health packs? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I, I think so. Here's here's uh, you, you, yeah, because you're pretty much always gonna be up against at least one demo man and or soldier, but it's usually more mm -hmm. than that because they're very commonly played. Mm -hmm. Um, and but the health pack is supposed to make up for that, but it doesn't really work since you're killed in one shot most of the time. So. And you pair that with the fact that it's only a small health kit, and your enemies can pick up that health kit too. That's true. Uh, it, yeah, it suffers from Sandman Syndrome. A <laughs> uh, much too punishing downside that overcompensates for a rather useless upside. I think I would agree. I, I would agree to an extent. I don't think that it's that bad, because explosives are tough to deal with. Like, I main soldier, and... Mm -hmm. Scouts just die to my explosives all the time. But they would not die in one hit, right? If you hit a dead-on rocket, I don't know the numbers exactly, but if I shoot you a full health scout with a rocket, point or uh, like just dead-on shot, that doesn't kill you in one hit. It takes two. Um, I mean, it depends. Sometimes it's one hit. It's unpredictable. That's another thing. Is it is it that unpredictable? Also, sorry, well, really I mean, quick. Someone, mm -hmm. Ty Meg says, why do you look like a far-right politician from Western Europe? Uh, and it's, I appreciate that, I think. I hope that those are good politicians. I, I don't think they are. I Ouch. Well, you know, I dress to impress, I guess. <laughs> I didn't realize that the candy cane drops that small health kit 
no matter what weapon you use to kill the opponent. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That if it didn't do that, then it would be probably like even worse. Un undeniably, the worst. See, I was not aware of that. That's. I think that it's better than than where I put it in that case. Oh yeah. Right, because yeah, the small health kits suck because the other team can pick them up. Can can is good in medieval mode. That's that may oh, yeah, very well be the case. No I don't play that one much. But... Timex, thank you for the fall. Um, it's if if you you're if you're playing scout like how scout is meant to be played, they shouldn't have much of a team while you're fighting them, right? You should be the pick class. There's a guy roaming. You go get him and then come back it's just giving you that health no pack yeah back. no you're the pick class you you kill what, what, what do you mean you you like you kill the, the medic you're you like or someone's roaming say a uh, uh pyro is roaming or something like that that's your job to go and take care of that person right, right? he's he's the the flank cover so but if the person who's roaming is a soldier or demo man then you then you still take more damage but you're dying to just about two hits I wait. So how much was it? Was it fifteen percent? Twenty five. It's twenty five percent. So a demo man's always going to kill you in one hit. So a, a soldier's pill... going to kill you one hit most of the time. Yes. So a demo will heal you. Hit will kill you with one pipe in one shot or one sticky too. Yeah. So demo is probably more detrimental than soldier is in this case. Yeah. yeah. But then you're playing scout. That shouldn't happen very often, right? You should be good at dodging pipes and whatnot. Well, yeah, but. That's something that you have to put more effort into dodging, which makes hitting your shots Tougher. more difficult. So it's just, I mean. But you think it's the worst one in the game? That's I. That's do. massive. I. Pe yeah. Candy cane would be only bad if you're using short stops, since you're usually not killing people mid range and are instead picking off people with dummy high damage at close range that's that was from chat that's a good point because well, you're not you usually you're right up in their face you pick it up right after that's got to be, be most of those interactions right well i mean if you're using the shortstop and you're at mid-range it's easier for demos to kill you if you're up in the face of people it's easier for soldiers to kill you so i think either way it's not very good okay. point is here's so but let's I, I don't expect to convince you. Like I said, people always disagree with yeah. me. I think what it should do is you should get more health. Um, the exact numbers, we I don't really want to get into that. I think you should get more health per kill. And the pack should only be able to be picked up by the enemy team after it's been left on the ground for like five seconds. Um, I see. And the downside, instead, the scout using the candy cane naturally spawning health packs you should only be able to pick up small ones interesting so even like medium kits that are on the ground just on the yeah. stage you should not be able to pick up yeah you sh you shouldn't be allowed to do that instead okay. of a vulnerability i can i can see those sh i would like those changes i don't think that it's in a good place either way i don't think that it's right. a good weapon um, just equip the frying pan exactly just equip the just equip stock i i have a strange bat which actually we should we, use this in the transition yeah if me. you look at uh if you look at our bat placements they're wildly different they are a little bit different huh i put it in bad because scouts should never really be running around with stock bat so like use something that's got that little bit of utility that i use i almost never use uh the weapon as like a damage dealer right because that's not what it's for so the stock bat is just like the the highest well it's not even the highest damaging one i don't think that it hurts you at all but i don't think it does anything good out of, out of the weapons out of the scouts melees that are intended to deal melee damage yeah i think it's the best one i think it's better than the boston basher why because, there's uh, no downside to the boston basher if you're using it well yeah well if you're no because the thing is you're not gonna hit you're not okay you're, I, you're gonna I, miss we should we should lay down a couple of those ground rules too because i think that's important for making a tier list debate okay 
are are we talking like this is just you or me playing or are we talking this is the best scout can be like the player what is the skill level level of the player that's using these weapons when we're talking about them um slightly above average so okay so around where i am i guess Sure. I'm a little better than average. Okay, so yeah, I would miss with it pretty pretty consistently. Yeah. And That's true. Then you don't get a whole lot out of it. I don't think having to put that much extra concentration into hitting every hit is worth the little bit of bleed damage you get. The main use of the Boston Basher comes from uh, building Uber with medics. Right. <laughs> Which um, is in casual can happen sometimes if you're but you, but usually only in, you only oh, see it. Oh hey, nerd sauce. Oh my goodness. Hi. Okay, atomizer. Oh, not overpowered. It's just S tier, obviously. Okay, nerd sauce is coming in and taking control of the stream. Nerd sauce, we're. It's okay. It's okay. Are, are you in the stream or something like that? Yeah, yeah. On the Twitch stream. Okay, so you see what our lists are. Yes. Okay. Right now we're currently on. Some, bad tier list stock okay. bat we're talking about the stock bat because we're kind of okay. using mine as a guide for which one to talk about next yeah 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 uh stock bat sucks so bad it is terrible no. what <laughs> oh by what the way you for people that don't know N nerd sauce is a youtuber who main scout yeah um, i know what i'm talking so about i'm a scout this guy is, you know i think that he, his is a good opinion to take in stride yeah uh well, okay. um, Go ahead, tell okay. us about the bat. Tell us about stock bat. Okay. Uh, which one, me or Tim? Who will do the honors? We already know Tim's opinion. It's it's the best damage dealing of stock. Of course, yeah, obviously. Uh -huh. uh, well, <laughs> if you've seen any of my uh, videos covering like scouts and melee weapons, uh, one, every single one of them has a trend in that it's that I like, I bash so hard on the stock bat because it's just so terrible. Like. You know, the scatter gun is already made for pumping out damage, and the pistol is just an amazing, reliable weapon. So, I mean, the bats doing 35 damage, that's nothing compared to like 100 damage with the scatter gun, you know? Uh, not to mention, uh, the bat is just, uh, it's just pretty unreliable, and it really doesn't make sense to ever use it because you're risking. You're already a fragile class, so having to run in there to beat somebody up, that's just making you more vulnerable, you know? But with a scatter are you, gun... Are you doing that with the stock scatter gun? You're running in there and... Well, yeah, but you can be at like a range, and you don't have to exactly, you know, be in melee range. But you can. But you don't have to, but you can. Okay. Sorry, I, think I that just that's took a... like three games of crap, no, it's, so. it's. I think that that's a good point, that if you're a scout, Ultimately, your melee damage should not matter. If if you're swinging your bat hoping for damage, that's because you ran out of ammo in your scatter gun. Yeah, so just you know reload. It doesn't take that long, and uh, you know you're basically getting if you safer. Reload and miss. Game. I think. Right. If you're if you're like a comp player, uh -huh. obviously yeah. But I guess I am biased because I don't play a whole lot of scout. I don't I don't have the best aim. I like to be able to fall back on just pulling out a stock bat, right? Uh -huh. And and I can run at the enemy, and they can't run away because I'm scout and I'm faster than them. So I they have to take the fight. And if I just run at them, and I, a lot of <laughs> a lot of classes don't like don't like when you're up in their face, you know. Yeah. So that's and random that's crits. True. Okay, random that's another good question. Crits? Are random yes. crits considered in this in this? Of course list? they are. Yeah, they are? This is okay, about so casual. this is a casual setting. Okay. Okay. I think that I think that the point of you shoot your scatter gun six times and don't kill this person, they're low health unless yeah. you're massively bad. But you know, and that's where the pistol above comes average. In. Well. What and if you're not the, using the pistol? Yeah, we'll what if that. you want to use the critical? What if, what if you okay. want to use the bucket punch? What if you want to use the mad milk? Then you what whip if, out okay. your fan of war and you just start smacking them. And they've I mean, only I got guess. like 20 health left, right? Because yeah. you've pumped them full of six shots or around six shots of a scattergun. Mm -hmm. 
are, are you ever going to need to do however much stock bat does? What it's not 65, it's half that. It's 35. It's 35, but a crit 35. is 105. And because it swings fast, it, it swings, swings faster. faster. It swings it more, and therefore it crits more. I mean, why not use the I, atomizer? I guess it's Tell gonna do wrong. enough damage. You could get a mini crit just by jumping. It deals less damage though. <laughs> and that makes it well, bad. yeah, but how much damage do you have to do? You've pumped them with six shots of a scatter gun. Well, that's what that's not what the atomizer is for. But if you if you need it to be, then it can. You yeah, can it jump can be, and yeah. do some mini crits. You can. Yeah. Stock bad is OP. Radical guy. Well, that's a radical opinion. Is overpowered okay, so. really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I don't know about that. Tim, I don't think that. I think that my. Stock bat placement is correct. I think it's the correct answer. It's bad. Okay. It's bad. What, Yours so isn't how you, good. How would, you, how would you buff it? Radical guy subscribed to me. Thank you. <laughs> to say stock bat OP. Say that again? <laughs> what am I doing with uh, it? How would you buff it? How do you make how, it good? How would I buff the stock bat? I Why? don't think you need to. Yeah, it's... Stock bed is just kind of there, honestly. I don't think I mean, that stock weapons deserve buffs or nerfs. Uh, like, even yeah, stock fire axe, I think that that's fine. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's bad. But that's because, like, you're just getting the... Like, you get the game, you have a stock weapon. You get an upgrade, and then you never go back to that stock weapon. Like, syringe yeah. gun. But why is fine. that, though? So I, don't th I think that that's what unlocks are for. I think that that's what other weapons are for. How would you here. buff? How would you buff the bat, Tim? I yeah, wouldn't. I think it's good. Oh, that's right. Wait, oh. uh, uh, nerd sauce. How would you buff this? <laughs> how would I buff it? Uh, if I mean, making it do sixty-five damage is just ridiculous because of its firing Yikes. speed. Uh, yeah. and you know, making the firing speed slower is just nerfing it. So I mean, I guess. Make it have some sort of utility, man, or something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe have, like, a secret 20% resistance against explosions or something. I don't know. Just make it have some sort of utility for busting why, the bad boy out. Why would I use a bat when I could use a fish? That's that's a good... Actually, uh, fun fact, I believe the holy mackerel, it, uh, like, it detects dead ringers. Like, because, because it doesn't Because of the, display. the hits. Yeah. I don't know if they pay to win that, game. But... It's a pay to yeah, win pay game. Yeah, pay to win. Pay to win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's what's next on the list? I've got I've got baby face blaster. I want to say that the baby face's blaster is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's fun to use. It is super fun. Oh, it's yeah. also absolute garbage. Absolutely, yeah. Which sucks. I wish it was better. Yeah. Um. Be face. Yeah. Go a. <laughs> Shut up. I'm fast paced. Shut up, a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're strong. <laughs> yeah. So I wrote a song about the the baby faces blaster. So I my opinion is the right one. Obviously, yeah, of course. Uh, ours aren't too far apart. So yeah, I think that yeah. that's fair. I think that it's bad because it doesn't like. The speed boost is great. I think that works out good. And they nerfed it because you could like. Scout was outrunning hitboxes. He was so fast. You know what the fix to that is? Valve, fucking fix more. your game. Yeah, fix, fix your game. Hitbox, I guess. What do you mean nerf the weapon? Fix your fucking game. It's yeah. ridiculous. So stupid. Well, isn't Baby that just like such a latency a thing? Latency? It's, it's something. It, I think that outrunning the hitboxes is a little different. But okay. I don't... I, I wasn't even there for it being... I mean, overpowered or whatever people say just fix your damn game valve and then you yeah. won't have to nerf weapons into the ground i love you mm -hmm. valve by the way um i'm sorry i'm <laughs> sure valve words. is i'm sure the one valve employee is watching this yeah, what do you mean? gabe's in chat right now oh really oh he's, he's his radical dude <laughs> he just subbed to me radical guy sorry sorry so we we all agree that why do you have babyface well, in situational instead of bat? Well, I feel like it's it's not that it's situational. I just feel like it's not underwhelming and it's not bad. So I just put it between the two. I I think it would be bad if it did less damage. It's still a scatter gun. Yeah. Yeah. It does a crap ton of damage. 
It's got four shots yeah. in its clip, which yeah. is not the force of nature, nor is it the soda mm -hmm. popper. Mm -hmm. So I, I could situation it would be situational if it was not so massively heavy on the downside you know like the like getting hit once taking chip damage and then you're mm. slow and can't do shit that's too much for it to be situational it hit once what is the situation you. oh my god <laughs> is that your <laughs> argument damage gonna make me reach my goal yeah <laughs> yeah i yeah, I just wish that, I just wish that it worked, because it it seems like such a cool weapon. I want to play yeah. with it so bad, but every time I do, I it feels well, bad. Feels everyone, gross. everyone, got an Atasha, although. But oh my god! Damn, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That was the last one. Okay, All you're okay, doing okay. is singing your song, which is great. Don't get me <laughs> wrong. I got one about the force of nature too. Nerdsaw's featured in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> if he keeps it's... singing Babyface, uh, this the song I'm gonna like. I'm not gonna be associated with this man ever. Thank Can't... you, still chill. Thank you for the ch cheer individual bits. That's great. Um, yeah, I no the Babyface bas Blaster. I, I I don't think it's situational. I think it's just straight up bad. I it is still a scatter gun, but it's upside is absolutely not worth its downside because it's yeah. just so heavily leaning into the oh you got five damage on you you have like two percent of your bar left what uh -huh. are you talking what no you know what dumb you know what what are we changing minds here oh shit. <laughs> you oh ordered them in gosh. your tears didn't you i did not i did not yeah I'm i mean a little bit you told me, you convinced me that the sun on stick is not detrimental. That is not detrimental. I you did Excellent. not convince me on the cane cane though. Cane cane I think is a little bit better than mind, than, than detrimental. Cane is pretty based. I never see people use it, but it's actually pretty. That's because it sucks, nerd sauce. That's why people <laughs> it never use it. Does not suck, Tim. Mm -hmm. You're just you jealous that you can't dodge explosives nerd and you sauce. get one shot to like Uncle, every Uncle single class ever. Uncle Juicy Fishy yeah. uh, says, oh. I'd say 50 or maybe 75% damage, or er, uh, damage, sorry, Smash Bros getting in my head, um, to lose all your boost. I don't think that it should be percentage based. Oh. Uh, I think it should here. I, wait, I, had an op I, had a, I had an opinion about this. Um, it should. I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, you wrote yeah, it so down? Right, you yeah, didn't care for this at all. Uh, so right now it takes 25 damage for you to lose all your boost, which is like literally two shots from a pistol. That's splash damage from a rocket, yeah. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, because you lose 4% boost per one point of damage. I think it should be based on range. So if you get shot from really far away, it shouldn't deal, it shouldn't, you shouldn't lose a lot of boost. Or if you get shot... You know, medium range, you, sh you shouldn't... Okay. I think the rate at which you lose boost now should only be applied if they're, like, right up against you, like, hitting you with the... hitting you with the ass with a melee so, weapon. So you're saying, like, mm -hmm. it should be... it should be almost affected by ramp-up. Like, yeah. the boost mechanic should have a ramp-up, like... or... Da yeah, damage fall-off. Boost loss fall off on damage. I That's interesting. But then how how would sniper work? If sniper is all the way across the thing and he manages to hit you while you're going at full speed, sh shouldn't that lose you more than? No. Why? Well, you hit a baby face blaster sprinting scout. That's like, I th I think that range is not the solution to it because. Like ramp, like so. Should soldier, you, should you always be rewarded for for doing something really impressive? No, but I think that you there should be a reward for it. If so, yeah, the reward obviously is the number is fast. He moves yeah. half as fast. He moves fifty percent because it deals fifty damage, or maybe twenty five. So I don't know. I don't see the the numbers are weird. It, it, that would take like actual testing and stuff. Um, We're too I lazy could, to do that. 
Uh, yeah, no kidding. I I could get behind the fall off, but I think that it would need some sort of it would need some sort of like calculation that we don't know. Honestly, I could I'm, see it though. I'm fine with the baby faces blaster. Like I just think it's a dumb, goofy, stupid weapon that people can just play around with. It's not meant to be taken seriously like at all. And you know what? I kind of like it. The the damage, you know, you lose speed. I don't like that stat. That's pretty dumb. They need to rework that. But I, overall, I, I think yeah. it's pretty fun. I ultimately think the fix is just to fix the game. Ultimately. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That was why oh. they did it, right? Because you were outrunning your hitbox. Make them yeah. not outrun their hitbox. Not they get hit and now all of a sudden they are don't have that bonus anymore. Uh -huh. Not to mention... You got no uh -oh. need to atomize. Uh, everyone thinks you're a spy. Yeah, <laughs> eighteen is gonna fly. <laughs> so, that's actually that's actually a really good point. What you just brought up, though. Oh, there, thanks. The jumping thing, lo like losing boost after a oh, jump, yeah. is perfect. I think that's perfect. I think yeah, that's yeah, great. I, think it's pretty good I didn't even say that lyric yet. Oh, okay, yeah. Say it, please. Bye -bye. There we go. Okay, thank you. Great. Now we can talk about it. <laughs> I, I I think that it's I think that's the perfect downside. That's great. Uh -huh. You should not have vertical mobility while you can run that fast. Yeah. Or not like the amount of vertical ability or mobility that you have typically as scout. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Hitting a baby face's blaster scout is like hitting a real baby. No, it's like it's like blasting on a baby's face. Sorry, I. What? what? Wow. Tim he is went, getting canceled. Everybody, after this. you heard it you heard it here first, folks. Bro, Tim is getting canceled. Tim has that opinion. Tim has that opinion. Yeah. Alright, uh I'm a force of nature. But uh, are we gonna talk about the force of nature, please? Yeah, why did you put it so low? Why did what? I put it so low? Yeah. So this was whoops. Hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Oh my gosh, how could you do this? I me, understand, man? but look, situational is exactly what the force of nature is. What? what are you using the force of nature for? It's damage, yes, but also it's getting that pick. It's ramming your gun so far up a medic's ass while he's in the corner so that you can blast him away and hit him with a second meat shot too. That's how I use it. Personally, I mobility, like, man. It does have really good mobility. That's the only thing that was kind of pushing me towards o underwhelming. But Scout doesn't have many other ways to do damage. What? You I... need to you need to be able to do consistent good damage with the scatter gun, right? That's uh -huh. what it's for. Uh -huh. The scatter. That's why the scatter gun is the best, without a doubt. It's Obviously, yeah. The consistent boom, 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 six shots that all do a crap ton of damage right there. So. Unless you're in a corner, the force of nature can't do that very well. It's gonna knock them away. I think it's it's a very balanced weapon that I don't use because I can't aim. Uh, you, you like you said, you can miss fairly often with stock and still be doing decently well. Uh huh. Uh, with with the force of nature, you're forced. To be hit force and force. I, I see what you did there. Force oh my to God. be more consistent with hitting your shots because the gun is less consistent itself. Yes. But it, but it makes up for that with the extra utility of being able to triple jump stuff like that. I can I, I can see that again. The 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 mobility is the main thing that's like pushing it towards being good. I mean it's. Mobility is great. Those options Maybe. are really nice. But Maybe you wanna bump it up a little bit. No, no, not if not if you can't do damage with it. Because what are you gonna do? You Force a nature jump and then reload one and then get two shots into whatever medic is standing you there before he remember, runs away. The art of the combo, dude. It is so the Force of Nature is hand sound like the best combo weapon for Scout. That's uh, right next to the guillotine, it's just it's perfect. That's true, but that's why it's situational. Unless you're using the guillotine, the guillotine, guillotine, what the fuck? Unless you're using the guillotine, or like maybe the rap assassin, not even. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what are so, you gonna do with it? You so, launch so, them away and then do ten damage with a pepper shot. The force of nature is situational because 
you are you're gonna miss more often with it, right? Because mm. uh, well, your your misses matter you, more. Yeah, your misses matter more, but your hits yeah. are more impactful. Yeah, one of them but is Austin Basher is <laughs> re is good. <laughs> no, Austin yeah, Austin Basher sucks. No, double I'm, standards. Listen, no. No, Boston Basher is just terrible. No, that's what I'm saying. I I don't like the Boston Basher. Okay, yeah, no, right, neither okay. of you like the Boston Basher. I all like right, okay. when my medics have three Ubers. Uh, well, if you well, okay, yeah, good. if you're playing competitive sixes, then, or just yeah. in casual too. Do you guys not have medics. medics that follow you around in a game, and then you just I don't have medics in casual. I don't have the shiniest than usual. <laughs> I'm, not, like you I'm do. not a streamer. Yeah. I'm not a That's famous true. streamer, I'm sorry. Yeah, famous, okay. You, you, do, like famous crazy. Uh, you do beg people for pocket medics in games. I, so. I, I do. <laughs> Wait, does, does Nertas do that too? I, I go on my hands yeah, and yeah. knees. That's fine. That's okay. That's 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 optimal. Yeah, I have E Unbound. Scout, I mean. <laughs> e yeah, unbound. You do have E Unbound. Uh, I actually I switched mine to, to Q. Yeah, I have his... Uh, my medic call is Q. Set to plus right instead, so you fucking but... spin around in circles. <laughs> I would, I would totally put the Force of Nature in underwhelming, maybe even good. I mean, its flanking ability alone is just amazing. That is powerful, but just put on the atomizer, and you're not throwing away your primary for it. What? Uh, but the mobility. I know. Dude, I, I'm playing Devil's Advocate, except in this case, the Devil is fucking right. What, what if you um, don't want to use the atomizer? What? What if you don't want to use the atomizer? Then you don't get to flank, idiot. <laughs> Then you, what if you want to use the Force of Nature? Yeah, what well, if you want to Force Then, you, then you, you better be having that, that freaking uh, cleaver on it, or else you're not going to be able to kill somebody in, in one in one shot. They're I mean, in, in, in enough shots. Should we, uh, should we talk about the Force of Nature's cousin? Sure, why not? The backscatter? No. no. <laughs> Hold on, so clearly, this, clearly it's a baby face. I watched, I watched a video recently okay. called, so, like, the TF2's Three Ghosts. And it talks about the reserve shooter, the soda popper, and some other weapon I don't really care about. The classic. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah. And the top comment on that video is, The reason the soda popper is rarely discussed is because you guys most are wrong, people and both pocket pistol and mad milk are kind of, but not all that much. Overpowered. But no. your average pupper can't abuse the extra jumps and don't feel the extra damage. Sorry, not the extra damage. Don't, don't feel the damage. So unlike other overpowered weapons, nobody really takes advantage of it. And that comment has 307 likes, and it's hearted by the person who made the video. And I... <laughs> do, 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 does anyone agree Bro, with that? I don't know no. what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> that makes no sense. Somebody, somebody cheered really quick, and I'm trying to figure it out, because they had a really good point to make. Huge Force of Nature simp, and I think it's the best flank scatter gun. It is, hands down. Best flank scatter gun. It's better than the back scatter, and that's kind of sad since the back scatter's whole job is flanking. I I will say this. A force of nature, so what do you want? Best flank weapon. And probably combo weapon for scout. E uh oh. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, okay. sorry, really quick, really quick. Luggage luggage ass, who are the people here? I'm Dawes. Tim Allen. The real one is there, and then Nerd Sauce. Or yeah. Tony Allen on YouTube. Tony yeah, Allen on YouTube. Famous YouTuber. I always get he's he's known up. for uh, making a video about a certain person. Who? Yeah, the Babyface Blaster. That's yeah, his, he's famous that's his... for making the, yeah. the Babyface's Blaster and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you. So, you guys... And don't get me wrong. I love... I love using the Force of Nature. The Force of Nature is so much fun to use, uh -huh. but it is situational. That is a weapon that I put on when I'm on high tower, sawmill, or I'm putting on the cleaver, or... That's it. What? That's pretty much it. Okay. That's pretty much okay. it. Okay. All right. Okay. Next I have... Wait, what, is, what does Tim Allen have next? Soda popper. We were gonna talk about the soda popper and how apparently people think it's hilariously overpowered. No. Why do we have this no. soda? Why do you have? Wait, hold. Okay, so I gotta say, I don't like the soda popper. Well, sorry, like sorry. I don't. I don't use the soda popper. Ever. Neither do I. Because if I'm gonna play like that, I want to use the force of nature. Uh huh. 
so, but I know that it's good. I know that it's a good weapon to have. Um, I don't think it's overpowered at all. Me neither. So what? Well, the no. scout's jumping. Shoot him! Shoot him in the air! What do you? And he what are you crying about? Long, and he does have to work up no. to it with like quite a bit of damage. Honestly, uh, the jumps are kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of more like a byproduct of the soda popper. Like it's just, it's his main thing, but it's just most of the time it's just kind of there, you know. Mainly why I use the soda popper is if I'm trying to get like some fat, reliable like fast damage because it reloads super quick and it pumps out shots even faster like that is, is true it is a burst it is hit, probably the best burst damage what no it is the best burst weapon damage damage wait burst damage weapon for scout yeah because yeah. it just pumps out so much damage at such a like a reliable speed Still, still chill says, I use the force of nature all the time since I mostly play attack, defender, payload, and usually have some flanks to do some funny business on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a very situational time to use it, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I think that the soda popper is... I, I don't think that it needs to change at all. And, and for that matter, I don't think the force of nature needs to change either. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we talked about that, but I don't think it needs to change. Uh -huh. the, the soda popper, it's just kind of boring to me which it, it means it's probably decent it's probably an okay weapon to use but i'm not mm. gonna be using it much in general yeah i can see that i mean Next. soda popper is really good with main crits sorry i didn't mean to cut you out there no it's uh, okay with mini just... crits that's true yeah. bigger burst damage soda popper like okay uh Back in the day, uh, instead of having extra jumps, the hype would allow you to get mini crits. And that was way overpowered. Like, because I believe two shots with the soda popper does around 300 damage. Like, just two meat shots. And, so, like, in the span of 0.5 seconds. So, I mean, it's pretty crazy. So you're saying it was overpowered when you were in preschool? <laughs> <laughs> I Listen, Tim. <laughs> listen, listen, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're outranked by Anyways. both of us in age. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Go to, no, go Anyways. to your corner and think about what you uh, just said. Fine. Criticola. <laughs> Criticola? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What do we... No, I don't know. we gotta do the short stop. We're talking about mini crits. Fine, we'll do the short stop. Oh, yeah, okay, we, short we have stop. it in the same spot. Terrible. I we hate the short stop. Relax. Short stop. Ouch. That's okay, a little bad. rude to I'm the short sorry. stop. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna say it. One of my favorite scout loadouts to use... Shortstop, holy mackerel, man milk, mad milk. Why? So much. But you, it's the, the milkman. Holy mackerel in the bad tier. It's no, I did not. I put the yeah, bat, the bat in the, the bad same tier. The same no, weapon. no, fish no. is just overpowered, overpowered. No, the the fish is They're fantastic. Just, uh, this is partially too. a meme. This is partially yeah. a meme. But the fish is fantastic. We've get fish you're, is pretty you're good. swinging a fish around, and. In that situation, being a support scout, one that's not playing up in their, you're 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 not up in their ass, you're staying back with your team, chucking milk, you know, doing different things. Mm -hmm. That's very situational, for yeah. sure. So yeah. that's fine. I don't think it needs to change, except it the shove is useless. It does nothing. It does less than yeah. that actually if you shoot and then accidentally press right click you're stuck in a uh, animation how are you gonna how are you gonna say that after mvm today i, literally, I, I know literally i know shouldn't. i know that you you definitely did save the entire mvm thing by shoving a guy did you seriously do that yeah it, yeah, was, it was pretty sick it was on stream so it's <laughs> recorded somewhere okay okay I'll have to check now it out. that's very situational for sure but you would never ever be able to do that in like no yeah, in casual, a casual match. You're the better off just getting that it exists. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is why it should be removed. Honestly, right? it's funny to say this. No, it should be switched uh, for like, something. When no, I use I the shortstop really... most most of the time, I just like unbound, like unbind us two. The because theory behind just, the it's shove. It's just that bad. So chill. The the theory behind the shove is that it forces your enemies to mid range so you can get more damage. I'm yeah. sure that's Works. what it was for, but However, good this God, is one of the that worst work? classes in the game. Yeah, Scout is awesome. No, the, yeah, like I'm pretty sure that's the idea behind it, but there's no point when you can just hold S 
Yeah, you can just run backwards. You're fast. Yeah. You're not. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, the heavy's right in front of me. Better uh -oh. shove him. Better and then, shove him away. And then he doesn't even really go that far. Yeah. It doesn't even work. And then that's you just get. You that die. doesn't make any sense. I think that that is really the bad part of the shortstop. I don't I've... think that. I I don't even know what you would swap it out for. It should be something that lends to being a supportive scout, in my opinion. I don't know what that would be, though. It, uh, uh, well, the shortstop suits a play style. Mm. Uh, Which I love. Which I love. Yeah, I, like, I, like it, I like to use it on Halloween, you know? It's good for, like, staying back and shooting crumb, not crumpkins, but the explosive pumpkins. Oh, um, sorry. Sorry, really fast, really fast. The random crits on the shortstop? Crazy. Oh, yeah, they're pretty crazy. Because oh, yeah. okay. you get four seconds of crits instead of one crit shot. Um, Which is nuts. Yeah, I'm kind of a bitch, so I don't like to have to get up real close to shoot people, which is why I, I kind of like the shortstop, but it's like, it just doesn't deal enough damage to be good. And I think it's because the way the shortstop works is it has a 100% damage penalty. So each pellet deals 12 damage instead of six, uh, instead of six at a base. Is it seriously 100%? Damage. Yeah, it's 100% wow. damage bonus, but it shoots four pellets instead of 10. On That's like right. a much tighter oh, spread. Oh yeah, and yeah, they do yeah, the okay. the upside down T. Or yeah. Right so T I think it should. I think it should stay like that. But if you hit your first, if like if you hit your last shot, it should increase the damage bonus. So if you hit like four shots in a row, the fourth shot should deal like I don't know, 160 percent more damage or 190 percent more damage or something like that. I could see that. That would be pretty neat. I think. <sighs> you know what? I want to go a completely different direction with the shortstop. I want the shove to be replaced with. You might have, you may have seen this somewhere. It's it's. Sort of popper hype. No, no, no. With the delivery man aspect of the of the thing. Oh. You should right. be able to pick up ammo packs and bring them to people while carrying the shortstop around, and oh. there should be a different kind of downside on the shortstop. Yes, it's not the scatter gun. So that's whatever. But you should be allowed to carry around those those ammo packs. Like back in the day when the Milkman set had like a whole stat to it, didn't you have like plus twenty five health? That added like, health, yeah. health, yeah. Which is pretty fucked up. That's pretty that messed pretty up crazy, for a scout. Yeah. And I don't think that it should be a, a set anything. I think that yeah. if you see an, an ammo pack, you can right click to pick it up and then right click to drop it wherever. I think that'd be pretty cool. That's how I would change What it. do you think about health packs, though? No. You would not okay. be able to do that with health packs. Because that could be used... That I just think that that's a little too strong if you also are carrying around Mad Milk. Because yeah. Mad Milk is nuts. Still chill. Mad I Milk feel like there wacky. could be a lot of scout weapons that could have some sort of buff by adding a throwable option to it. Which is interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Scout does have a lot of throwable options though yeah but scout you know projectiles with scout is always pretty risky just in That's general true. we the the idea that um uh, tony allen came up with the uh the the sandman ball uh, applying marked for death i think that's cool that's, that's what cool i action. said dude i swear back when i was like first playing tf2 uh, like my first 100 hours of playing the game, I used the Sandman, and I did not know it was a bad weapon until like after my first 100 hours. I'm like, dude, this sucks. And then I started <laughs> trying to figure out ways to like rebalance it, and that was the first thing that I thought of. Mark for death, just like an MVM. That'd be. Super I think cool. that is such an awesome idea. What is what is the next weapon that we have up? The Criticola. Criticola. In the same Good spot game. for us both. Yeah. What do you think about the Criticola nerd sauce? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, it just really depends on the weapons they use. Uh, Criticola with, like, Soda Popper, amazing. Okay? Uh, Criticola with the Force of Nature, awesome. You get to one-shot medics and, like, every light class with one shot. So. Uh, Scattergun, I, I don't know about many crits with... I don't know about Criticola with Scattergun. Like, DPS is really the name of the game when it comes to Criticola because you don't have a secondary that you can rely on for damage uh so 
trying to be able to reload faster and uh, getting that damage out is really important because you don't have anything to fall back on other than, you know, your melee, but I mean, well, you know, just use primary. So, I think it's situational in the sense that it's really yeah, bad. Yeah, situational. That's, I should have said that. Yeah, yeah, it's situational in the sense that it's really bad when your opponent can hit their shots better than you. Yeah. Uh, when your opponent is a, a soldier, or when your opponent is a good a or maybe just a lucky demo man, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's really good when you're, when you're, like, good and already doing really well. Yeah, if you can dodge well and just hit your shots, you're basically, like, golden with the critical yeah, it's but it's very difficult for the average player yeah, yeah, to get yeah. value out of because, you know, you have the option to just fight normally, which is good for being able to actually hit your shots, but you put yourself at a high risk of death uh, if you're not making yourself hard to hit by jumping around like crazy, which is your other option. Uh, uh -huh. But if you do this, hitting your shots is more difficult and you don't really get much out of the Criticola. Mm -hmm. So it's only really good if you're really good at scout. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the Criticola is not a weapon that should be on scout. No? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Scout is the shove his gun up your butt and then do a crap ton of damage. Do you need to do mini crits too? Like, it's fun. I, it is fun, but I feel like that would make more sense on some other class. I th don't know which one, but I think that adding more damage for taking more damage, I just think is kind of a boring concept for a class like Scout. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the way it's yeah, it's it's probably boring, but there is a there is a place for boring weapons in the game. Like, just because it's yeah. boring doesn't mean it's not... Uh, I think it's done poorly, right? I think it's... It's, it's trying, the laziest way they could have done it. It's it, it's trying to give both the scout and his enemies an equal opportunity, but it puts the scout at a disadvantage, like, 77% of the time. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you should keep the fairness in mind when rebalancing it, but do it in a way that the scout gets his opportunity and then his opponents get theirs. But you also want to make it so like, so what I'm saying is you you drink the cola, you get the crits, not the crits, the mini crits, and then after you're marked for death for probably longer than you already are now. Um, but you should also have to like charge it like a soldier banner so it doesn't feel like you just spawn and then you get free mini crits and you can use them. I would be okay with that. I'd be okay with yeah. that change. I think yeah. that would keep it... I think that would put it into underwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. Personally. Yeah. But not in a bad way. It would... Like, it's fine doing that. Yeah. What do we... What do we got next? Backscatter? Terrible. Backscatter. That's your metal. Worst. Like, actually, I think it's one of the worst scout weapons right next to the Sandman. If you just do some simple math, you can realize how fast the like how bad the backscatter is. Like yeah. it's it's situational, is what I what? would say. If you're a flanking monster, sure, why not have free mini crits all the time? Like if all you're doing is being behind their backs, sure, like they're not turning around, you should get mini crits. But most of the time they're going to turn around, and then you're going to die because they're turning around. So I think that it's it's like it's like a good positive for a good like good gameplay and stuff, but I don't think that it's like I don't think that it's bad. It's just like the scatter gun but with less in its clip and then you could do more damage if you're playing with okay. it right. Why hold on. I'm like I'm going to move the backscatter yeah. Please Situation. move it to bad. Co okay. You see what I'm talking okay. about? Yeah. Let me make you visualize something real quick, okay? Let, me, look at, let, me, let, let me make you visualize okay. something. Why okay. is my backscatter on my tier list at a I was going to say. Pause. What? Oh my god. At a different angle. Look. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even spot that? 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, what were you, you going to say, Nerd Sauce? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that is the most off-topic thing ever. Okay, uh, Mess picture this with me for a second, okay? You see a scout, yeah. alright? You're right behind him. And now, let's see. Let's say there are two different universes where you have the scatter gun and the back scatter, okay? You back scatter a scout with mini crits. One shot, he's dead, okay? You have three shots in the clip left. How many shots does it take to kill a scout with a scatter gun? Mm. Two. Okay, so how many shots do you have in your, in your like clip left? Four. Four. So would you rather have three shots in your clip or four shots in your clip? It depends. Are you behind the entire team? I would want... Well, I guess I would want those mini crits over having an extra shot in my clip. Because mm. this is if you were behind that scout, that's crazy, first of all, because scouts run fast and they run the same speed as other scouts unless they're carrying the back okay, scouter. Well, sniper is a more oh. appropriate example, I guess. Well, if, the, hold on. The thing is, the thing is, um, that is one situation where the back scatter is probably a worse situation? choice than the scout oh scatter. No, I think that I think that, that, that the situation. I think that the the wording that we used here was very specific because situationally there are good weapons but then other than that weapons that don't have a situation they're bad weapons that damage you or like mess you up for using it that's detrimental so it's definitely not an underwhelming weapon you don't use it and you're like oh that could be better you use it when you're like i can be behind the entire team like the whole time yeah backscatter just feels like soda popper but worse is still chill now, to explain myself, not only do you not have to rely on overly janky back mechanics, but you also don't have as much burst damage. That is a good point, how the jank of back hitboxes yeah, affects it. That fuck, not that mention, that's, that's it, pretty dumb. It's affected by range, so, like, if you're not in, like, breathing distance of them, like, you just don't get the mini crits. Is that right? Do you... Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty, only a like, close range, yeah. but... Okay. I mean, at well, long range, you're, at, you're at close range as scout. So, if you're trying yeah. to backscatter someone from 50 hammer units away, like that's Tim Allen. What happened to your tier list? What? What happened to your tier you list? What? Do why, you not see it? Why is it five pixels? It's like now? four pixels, dude. There you go. Uh, okay. There we go. Hey, it's good now. It's good now. Yep, that's working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we, for some reason. Our 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 scout main thinks that this the backscatter is absolutely useless. Absolutely terrible. But it's two to two to one. So Yeah, yeah. It's a situational weapon. Mm, is it, I don't know. Is it bad? Like is it It's still a scatter gun. Again, once like just like the baby faces blaster, it can still deal Yeah, but I mean damage. like the classic is still a sniper rifle. Uh, the classic is good. <laughs> what? Classic is not bad. Okay, no, it's the not. classic is okay, situational. Hold on, let me think of a better. Let me think of a better example. Uh, Thompson, I've, there you go. Well, Oof. I mean, that's a bad gun. weapon. That's a detrimental weapon. We're skipping ahead. Yeah, future. we'll get into there. We'll get yeah, in. Yeah. We'll get into yeah, it for yeah. sure. Next is, what do you have any more in under uh, uh, situational that we haven't talked about? No. Um, Next yeah, is underwhelming. I have one in bad that we didn't talk about. You have one in bad? Oh, yeah. Bonk Atomic Punch? Where did I put yeah. that one for me? Whoops, sorry. You put that I in can't. situational. I can't mess with your screen. I actually agree with situational. Situa yeah. I, I like that. You you know what the situation is, right? Yeah, obviously, sentries. Um, it's for sentries. You're getting yeah. their attention, and that's it. It's... Okay, Bonk, in my opinion, I never use Bonk. It's pretty... Meaning bad in my opinion but it does have a couple of uses and i mean like it doesn't have a lot of uses but those couple of uses are really good no. uh it's great <laughs> no what's it good for it's you know what you know what hold on centuries. hold on the 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 burden of proof is not on us the burden of proof is mm. currently on tim allen or yeah tim, tim. allen tony allen why is yeah. it bad uh, well with the bonk atomic punch, you can mm -hmm. you can you can run away like a bitch. 
I mean, can, that is an yes. option. You can I, get yeah. taunt kills easier. I you guess. can distract or run past sentries. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Or you, you can, can sentry surf, which is awesome. And, and you can flank behind the enemy without getting killed. Yeah, that so, is yeah. if they but, don't but, see you. So each, each of these uses... Um... So for you know, each of these situations, getting, so yeah, so let's, let's take it one by one. Each situation, <laughs> getting taunt kills yeah, easier isn't like a good practical aspect. So we won't really like that. That's one. It's of the a uses taunt kill is. ultimately. It's yeah. and um, not even a really good one it, on that. It's just yeah, it's just like a fun thing you can do, kind of. Yes. Uh, using it to run away like a bitch isn't that helpful because you slow yourself down to stop uh... and trick. It can save uh, your life sometimes, but you're usually better off running, or even sometimes just you're better off dying and healing with the respawn time. Uh, I would disagree with that. Well, I... Uh, if you're if you're if you're able to get one off, then you have a free ticket back home, unless you run into like a sentry or something that's shooting you back the other way, uh, or like a pyro that's uh, air blasting you, uh, or you you can just run into health packs. But I mean. And then there's the the sentry yep. thing, uh, thing. but sentry knockback, which is another thing. It, it I think sentries sentries deal way too much knockback. It I think can be sentry. Good, though. I think sentry knockback should be reduced, and also you shouldn't take knockback while under the effects of Bonkatan. I, I agree with that, but I've done some pretty wacky stuff in my time with uh, well, like. Bonk yeah, why not use sentries. that as a flanking tool? That's because that is your that, thing or it's us. Yeah, it's my it's because I'm a skilled scout man and you're not. You're just <laughs> jealous. I mm. think that those three situations that you brought up well, explain why it would be situational. There was the fourth one, you can flank behind the enemy without getting killed. That too. Um, Granted that puts a massive red flat like target on your yeah, back. Like there's yeah, a the scout thing behind is, if, us. It, if they see you, yeah, if they see you, then it's like Oh, yeah, there's a scout behind us. We need to, like, we can easily deal with that. It kind of defeats the whole point of flanking. Kind of. But, flank, but now but you've you got flank, two people going to chase you, after a scout. Well, you don't, they don't necessarily have to chase after this scout. They can just be prepared for it. Well, then you didn't. Then you, then you made it back there. Now you can fuck around in their spawn. What? If you, if, if, if you manage to slip behind them, or say you just walk right past them, Two people are going to follow you. One person's going to follow you something. Or if they don't, then you did it. Then you got behind them. Now they know we got to be ready for a scout that's behind us. But in a casual server, no one's going to be communicating that. So just go back to the spawn and then you can mess around all you want. I guess sometimes. That's the situation that you would use it in. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I think that it's a situational weapon. I don't think that, that it is when the bad. Situational weapon you know, you're right situations. about it being situational, but it's not good enough in those situations for me to put it in situational. Well, what else would you do? In Scout cannot t go near a sentry unless he has Bonk Atomic Plunge. You cannot pass a sentry. You, you're just... Stop. You need to wait until someone else takes care of it. If you have it, there, now you can all of a sudden go and help. You can make the t the sentry shoot at you while a devil man sticks stickies down or something like that, or while a soldier shoots it. Shoots it. I think it's bad in those situations. Like the taunt kill one, we're not really going to pay attention to because whatever. The running past them, it, it's either going to distract them or it's going to get you behind them, and that's solid. That's a good use of it. Is it both of those things? Yeah, distracting them is super good, or and getting casual. past them is even better. Yeah. In casual, go destroy the teleporter. Like, go mess around with people in spawn, and then they have to chase after you. Then right. you got three people chasing saying. you. Spending what I'm time saying is, sometimes. I don't think that is useful enough for it to be in the situational term. Yeah, that's not very epic gamer. It's not. But it it it, it has its it has its situational. It has its uses. So. The other pool cable has its uses, but its use. Well, it's, what's its situation? For clowning around. The caber? Well, I mean, yeah, for clowning, clowning around. around. No, that is its situation. What do you mean? No, charging at the cart. And That's it? That's a pretty solid yeah. one. So, eh, solid, quote unquote. Assuming it, melee reg hits and five yeah. other things go right. I you suppose. win those dice rolls. Okay. After that, that's everything under situational. 
and situational. Mm -hmm. Next is underwhelming. First one I have in underwhelming is the rap assassin. What? Uh, the rap assassin in good. The rap assassin is the only non-stock scout weapon that I wouldn't change anything about. That is fair. What? This one I'm pretty. I would be pretty comfortable shifting this up to good, but. I expect it to do more, and most of that is because of the messy projectile. How it, a lot of the time, just doesn't do what you expect it to do. Like, it, the problem with, like, slopes that it has a lot of the time, the problem with, um, some, like, some areas and some maps just, like, don't let it work. Which, ultimately, comes down to Valve fixing the game, and then it's fine. Um... It's, it explodes into shards once it hits somebody, right? Yeah, it, it it has, like, it has a splash damage, but it's, like, literally four damage. <laughs> it's literally, right. like, nothing. It's and I think that that's stop. underwhelming. I think that's, I like, guess. dude, what? I hit the the guy. Not not a direct hit, but it should be more than four damage. Are you kidding me? I think that's... the Rap Assassin is, yeah. like, if you... If, 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 I actually think it's like the only other good scout melee other than the atomizer. Like, in my opinion, there are only two good melees, and that is the atomizer and the rap assess. Okay. That's thank an you opinion for to have. Taking my opinion. Thank you, thank you. That's definitely <laughs> a opinion to have. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, so that that's why I would put it in sure. underwhelming. I don't think that it's I don't think that it's it's not bad and it's not situational. It's something that you could definitely put on whenever you want to and do good with it, but it's not doing everything that I expect it to do when I'm using it. I I personally agree with underwhelming. It's just, uh, it's more for like pestering people and making them run back to spawn or run back to like a health kit rather than actually just or yeah, baby it's more of something that you just spam out there. I mean, yeah, I guess you can use it with Babyface, but I don't it's still only yeah. melee you should use with Babyface. Speed face. and damage going up with the Rap Assassin. Exactly. Oh, Vision too. starts to blast. If you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out this opinion. If you're using Babyface Blaster, you better be using the freaking Rap Assassin because no yeah. other melee weapon is worth it at all. Yeah. No, you all. should totally use the atomizer with the baby face. I, use, I see nothing wrong with that. Use the no, atomizer you, and use the basher. Use the basher. It's it's the yeah, meta. The yeah, it's the meta. <laughs> so that that I think that pretty solidly underwhelming in my in my opinion. Yeah. The winger. The winger is. We both put it underwhelming. I think that the winger is like the perfect f face of the underwhelming tier. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Put it on. I can jump higher. I'll take it. But what the fucking do? Well, okay. Just uh, five answer. flank routes open up on upward. That's neat. Yeah. I guess. Or I could just use the atomizer. I. I mean. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's overshadowed by it's scouts. Totally other mobility options. Totally overshadowed. Yeah. Over, yeah. Overshadowed. Overshadowed. Golden showered. Uh, <laughs> that's the name of my Gerardi. sniper rifle. <laughs> Gerardi. I, I just mean like it's just completely overshadowed by literally any other mobility tool that Scout has. Like, in my yeah. opinion, why should the winger even exist when the atomizer exists? Because like you're you shouldn't use your melee for damage, obviously. So right. you know, why sacrifice why sacrifice some of your damage with your shots with your winger for extra mobility when you can just basically sacrifice no damage at all for free mobility does the winger have any other stats besides jump height increase uh it has like ha uh it has a damage bonus it does more yeah, damage but like it, how much it 15 percent i think 15 oh, but it's got a smaller clip or something like that yeah, yeah it's, it's like got a, five shots five. Yeah. it's terrible it's not good uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. All you have to do is up the clip size to seven, and I think it's good. I think it's, I, it's, I think it's fine. Usable. As a scout man, like, I see myself, I, I don't know if it's like a skill issue or anything, but yeah. uh, I do miss a lot of my shots, and that's just purely because the pistol is really inaccurate. 
Um, and like, I don't know, you know if this is a skill issue or anything. But it I is, missed it, my okay, shots. It is both. <laughs> it is both a skill issue and like my, I, like the RNG as well. That's fair. Uh, but it, it's it's just. You know, I don't think that it's so worth inaccurate. the. I don't think it's worth the jump height, which ultimately is not a massive bonus. Yeah. So here's here's what I think. Um. I feel like the fact that weapons like the soda popper, the force of nature, and the atomizer are good, or at the very least fun. You know, if you don't think they're good, they can be fun. Yeah. Um. While most of Scout's other primaries and melees aren't works against the winger right because mm -hmm. i agree you're you're often going to be using the atomizer or if you're not using the scatter gun you're going to be using the force of nature of the soda popper most of the time uh -huh. uh, but if in a world where you know like the baby faces blaster the backscatter shortstop and all of scout shitty melees were like good and people use them people would be like oh i want to use the uh, uh sun on a stick and shortstop today but i don't want to have some mobility so i'll equip the winger i feel like that would also um, help the winger a little bit if Scout's weapons were overall just more balanced. I agree. There are other... Nobody in their right mind... I've seen someone be like, wait, dude, did you know if you force a nature jump and then whip out your winger, you can double jump onto like the Ooh, tower no. of No Hightower. way! Are you it's serious? Like, it's like, okay, but you could do the same thing with the force of nature like in a different spot. It's, That's exactly what I'm saying. It's just like yeah. you don't you don't need it. But what this is making me want to do is play with the soda popper, the winger, and the atomizer. Make that yeah. the lowdown. Just that is actually I think it's just a set, going isn't up. It? It's a set by itself. Is that them. the set? Like the fan or something the, the like that? The number one fan. I think that's the set. Yeah. That sounds like some fun. Actually, I might do that. That later. is pretty wacky. But it' not good. It's not going to be good. Oh yeah. Because the winger I don't I don't think the winger is good at all. Yeah, it's really only uh it's really only good in like a couple of sixes maps. Uh and I'm kind of tired of people like saying, Oh, it's so underrated, like dude, what? Yeah. The winger is it's just overshadowed by so many weapons for Scout. Mm -hmm. I mean It is rated. It it's is it rated. is definitely one of the rated uh like weapons of all time. I think yeah. that I think that what's keeping the winger out of being situational is that you always want damage you always like having a secondary that will do damage is nice oh i pumped this guy full of shots and i don't want to reload but he's gonna die in like three hits just whip out your winger and then there you go it's a pistol that's fine yeah. that's yeah. not situational that's all the time i would love to have that which jump mm -hmm. height too can't like it's not a massive upside but it is cool it does give you some things that you can do. So, that's uh -huh. what I would say. Still chill, by the way. Thank you for all those cheerings. That's very nice of you. Glad you like it. Um, what's next? What's our next? Fan of, the Fan of War. Fan of War? So, fan of War. Oh I my feel like gosh. If, if I made this tier list like three days ago, and yeah. someone like told me that I put the Fan of War in either good underwhelming situational or bad i would believe them and be like yeah i probably did that you know yeah because i don't it's it's it it fits all of those descriptions yes yeah that's true i think that the fan of war is so much fun yeah i oh, don't yeah. think it's good i put it in situational what's it the situation yeah totally what's the situation oh they have a medic, and my team is is decent. It's uh -huh. decent. This is the that the what I usually use the fan of war for is scatter gun, uh, milk, and then the uh, fan of war. Cause I'm my job is like MVM. That's how I. Uh -huh. That's actually exactly yeah. how I think of it. I am. Here's your target. Shoot this guy. I'm gonna make it easier for you. That's that's my goal usually with the, the fan war, mm -hmm. and that's the situation that I would put it in. Well, that is one of the situations. I think it's also good for one on one combat. Like if you get the jump on someone, you can mark them, and then you automatically are thirty five percent more likely to win the interaction. I think maybe. That's true. Like I I, I could definitely be swayed on this one. I love the fan war. I think it's very I'm close true. to being good. 
I honestly think like that high? it's just it's such a risky weapon. Like you have to really think. There's just so much going on to try and make the Phantom War work. Uh, in most cases, that's true. Like you, you have okay. So first of all, you have to go up behind somebody, which already isn't exactly difficult for Scout, but trying to do that consistently and flank consistently is really hard. Uh, so to try and use the Phantom War consistently, it's you know, not exactly effective. Not to mention, would you rather warn the, like, the person behind you that, like, hey, by the way, I hit you, uh, and, you know, the sound effect that it plays when you get hit with it, uh, and then, like, it gives them a fighting opportunity to kill you while you're still switching your scattergun. Yeah. So, it's really just it's true. a risk between, like, well, do I want to shoot my opponent twice or mark them for death, hope they don't turn around, and kill them with one shot. I think, I think that it you... depends on how much health the person has. If you can infer this person has taken a little bit of damage, oh, yeah. smack him with the Phantom War, shoot him once with the Force of Nature, they're dead. Oh, yeah. That feels great. Yeah. But if it's a full health person, I think you need to... I think that being behind them, flanking them, and they don't know you're there is more impactful than shooting them with the... Or hitting I'll them say this. Mark the, the supportive... Like, the Fan of War, I genuinely think, is one of the most supportive weapons for Scout. Uh, because even if you do die, you're basically guaranteeing for, like, what is it, 20 seconds that the person is marked for death. Uh, that's true. And I, I think that's pretty crazy, because, like, if you mark a medic for death, they basically have to hide and, like, not peek a sightline for 20 seconds, because they're, like, 35% more vulnerable now. I did so, forget about that. That's a really good point. Yeah. That mark for death does not go away when you die. Yeah. They yeah. are most likely going to die if you hit them with yeah. it, which is pretty nice. Here, I think that my... that will push me up. Yeah, I think, yeah, if you take that into consideration, but it's, it, I don't think it should work like that necessarily. I think it should be rebalanced. Here's here's my idea. Um, oh. I, yeah, I don't, so I don't mind. Yeah, I, I wrote I wrote some stuff down. I don't mind the fact that it deals barely any damage on its own. It's made clear that it's not supposed to be used as a weapon. I think it should have a faster holster speed, but a slower deploy speed to kind of make up for the for the thing that uh, Nerdsauce said about how, like, you know, if you mark if you mark someone, then that gives them a fighting chance. If you give it like yeah, a holster that's what speed, said in chat. yeah, 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 uh, uh, that would help holster speed, but also. Uh, yeah, but the slower deploy speed, so you can't whip it out on demand and immediately debuff someone that you weren't expecting. Mm. Um, I think you should be able to mark multiple t people at a time, maybe two or three, probably more two, uh, so that you have you have the option to use it more as a support thing rather than just like single target. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah. It does make sense. I... But then, also, if you die... Two people for death? Well, in that case, so that would be like, you run in, smack two people, and get the hell out of there, right? Yeah, yeah you could do that. But if you die, they're, they're not marked for death anymore. Maybe they give them, like, two... Like, right now, it's like, what, 15 seconds or something to mark for death? It's if a pretty you die, they should, it, should, it should be cut down to like two more seconds or something like that so your teammates do still have like a little bit of a chance i i don't know i that's not a bad change i don't think but i do like how if you hit someone with this thing you got in there and hit them with it that should be your reward for getting in you might die but that person should die also i think that that's an interesting mechanic and i kind of like yes maybe still chill says that sounds like something you'd use with bonk that's what i was gonna say you run in, smack two people with your thing, shove that bonk down your throat, okay. and they roll. They're just uh, trolling. Yeah, and that's it. Then they're they're marked for death, and they can't do anything that about it. That is the it. that is the actually like that is like that's pretty funny. The biggest troll strategy I've ever that's, heard for scouts. I kind of want to do that. That, that is a video yeah. idea for me. I'm gonna, us, if I'm you gonna do, that, do that, if you do that, invite both of us on and have Absolutely. three of us do that at the same time. I will do that. 
That'd that would be great. Imagine that just like, like three scouts coming towards you, all with the fan of war. <laughs> they hit you all, and then they drink immediately funk and drink run away. funk. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that video idea. I, I like that. Okay, we'll plan that one after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so are we it out of? Like, it looks like the rest of the weapons we kind of agree on. They're all in good tier. It looks like that too. I don't think in. I don't think that there's anything we would change from here, right? Like, no... No, there's some things I would change about some of these. No, I'm sorry. About the weapons? Like, yeah. they're balanced. Okay. Okay, so we'll talk about them. Just, so, because, just because they're in good, I don't think that makes them balanced. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I did not order mine in the tier. So... Um... I, I did. I guess we'll start with mine. The... The Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol? It's my favorite pistol to use with Scout. Without a doubt. It's probably the best one. Say hi to Ravioli, yeah. by the way. Thanks for appearing. <laughs> I think that I think that its idea is really cool. I don't think that the health is too much. I think it's a really nice amount of chip health that you get for getting chip damage. Um, and I like its firing speed buff. I think that's cool. Uh huh. I think it's totally balanced. I wouldn't change a thing. Um. I, I will say this, uh, have we, uh, talked, have you guys talked about the guillotine? No, we haven't, but I do have, I, I would like to contest Dost on the, on the pocket pistol. I think it's, okay. All right. I think the pistol is balanced, right? It's a nice sidearm, a good yeah, finisher, well. and a nice mm -hmm. way to initiate or close out fights. Mm -hmm. And the pocket pistol, the only thing you're sacrificing is three bullets in your clip, but you get a faster firing speed and health on hit. Mm -hmm. I think that's it's it's overpowered, but it's not enough. It's over. It's not overpowered enough to be in its own tier. Do you know what I'm saying? So you think that something should be changed? You think that it should have a bigger downside for the two upsides that it has? I think the clip size should be seven. And How is that is that like three less than it has right now? How much does it have right now? That so it has nine right now. The winger has okay. five. I think the winger and the pretty boy's pocket pistol should have the claim the same cliff size as seven. Okay. Uh, um, I could get behind that, but I don't think it's also, required. Like I, I don't. I agree with you. I don't it's, think it's okay. yeah. It's still it's still just a pistol, so it's not. That would be for balancing purposes, just like an yeah. overall soft balancing. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like unfun to fight against or something like other overpowered, but I can see that. What's next? Uh, we talked about rap assassin. I mean, I I just kind of, I mean, I summarized the pistol. Did you did you have did you disagree with anything I said it, about the pistol? The pistol is the pistol is pretty boys totally or fine. just it's stock a pistol. stock weapon. Stock, stock pistol. Stock I think pistol? that it's oh yeah, it's weapon. awesome. It's, it's great. Fine. I don't like using it because you know it's. It's kind of weird. The model, I don't like. I don't like the like model the of the... No. I think it's too bulky. I like the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol because it's a compact little thing. And the pistol is just, like, way bigger than it when I am yeah, holding it in this, my hands. This affects the gameplay so much. Absolutely. Uh, it drops my fr <laughs> my frame rate. My FPS goes yeah, down. My, um, I, I, my, my, I start lagging. Uh, I, yep. my, my window goes my borderless and I don't like... know what to do. Yeah, my, my little mom brother calls comes me. in. I'm playing yeah. blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my big issue with the stock pistol. Yeah. <laughs> I think that it's a fine weapon. I like it. I, I don't use it ever, but I think it's funny. I use so it with I th so, the engineer more. Right. Yeah. Um. I think the cleaver is more similar to the pistol than people realize. This is Cap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's similarly to the pistol. It's a good way to initiate a fight or close out a fight. Um, as you are approaching or backing away from your opponent. The main difference between the two is one is a handgun and the other is a throwable kitchen knife. It is so funny how like wrong you are in every single <laughs> aspect. It's a sniper rifle. Alright, uh, I mean, okay, first of all, I love the guillotine. I'll always defend it. It's a great burst damage weapon, but it is so unreliable. I mean, the ratio between oh me God. actually like Skill hitting, issue. 
It is not as yeah, skill as skill 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 exactly. I can Dude, understand the pi- guys. Please, I can okay, understand the pistol, but the guillotine. That is actually it fires slightly to the uh, like to the right, uh, and that's just it's so annoying. It's very hard to actually aim the guillotine oh my. because it it oh aims my. at a very weird arc. Look, I know this is what, happening. I know what this sounds like. Do you hear I what know, this guy is saying? I Tony? know what this sounds like. It's just. The guillotine is a very unreliable weapon. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's not okay. though. Just f- d- compensate. Just, co- just hit your shots better. Yeah. Just no, hit totally. your shots. It's, so it's tough. But yeah, it's definitely not an easy weapon to hit, for sure. But once you start like, so this is my main secondary. This is the secondary that I use all the time. This is my thing, Damn. you know. And guillotine is gonna fly. You just Our keep on chucking time. that shit, it'll hit somebody. You know why you can keep chucking it and it'll hit somebody? Because it recharges it in recharges three fucking seconds. Fast. It does recharge super Why fast. would I ever want a pistol when I can chuck out like a 53 damage per projectile that causes bleed? So, and it's a spy checker. It does everything you need it to do. That that uh, weapon is fantastic. I don't know. Just I've used... hit better. Just so hit, hit it... more guys. I have used the guillotine so much, and let me tell you, it is, it's unreliable, I'm sorry, it's just, it is, it's a great weapon, it's, it's, it's a risk weapon, you know? You I'm curious, are... I'm curious, do you have a strange guillotine? I do, I do. I'm, I'm calling you out, how many, how many kills do you have? I will, I am hopping on TF2 as we speak. Okay, good. I'm gonna check my one too. Yep, check, everybody check your thing. We'll see That's who's it, the better yeah. guillotine thrower, or who's okay, been playing the Okay, longest. bad, bad. Rather. The By the way, no matter brothers, whether or not you, no other. whether or not you have more or less than me, I still win this argument. Oh, uh, okay, You'll yeah, see. sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win an argument against a kid. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, totally. I love you, nerd. <laughs> Great. Thank you. I love you too, Dawes. My God. Open up TF2 faster. What are you Mario. doing? Oh my gosh. Uh, you're literally not. You just DM'd me <laughs> epic rap battles of history. Mario Bros. vs. <laughs> Mario Bros. What are you times. doing? Okay, We're filming a video. Do not worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, I have 2,420 kills. 420. Like, Snoop Dogg? Moses vs. 2,000 something or whatever? That's what you said? 2,420, yeah. Okay. Are you guessing? Yeah. I have 323 oh. airborne kills, three long distance kills, and 84 posthumous kills. Okay, and Tony? I have 110. I I have, <laughs> yeah, I have I have I have 234. Well, guess who is a better scout, man? And then Except you, you can't combined. hit anybody with it I after can. throwing that many. I can. Oh my god! It just it's it's just, just throwing the fucker. Just get good. Yeah. It's not inconsistent if it consistently does the inconsistent thing. That makes actually no sense. It, no, it makes a little bit of sense. Come on. Come on. I guess. What, what, I, what I was saying when I was saying it's similar to the pistol is that it's a good way to initiate a fight and close out a fight. But the main difference is that it's hit or miss. You know, you throw it and you hit and yeah. you deal a lot of damage. But with the pistol, you can you know, hit some. I some... guess they never miss. Baby face A and fast Shut face up. A. Oh my. <laughs> okay, we're so too, we're scared of two idiots. A di- so we all agree that Nerd Sauce is wrong in that. We all agree that Nerd Sauce is right and he's the better scout yeah. man than oh, everyone. He, you might be a scout main. It's a good weapon. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it's a it's great my favorite. weapon. It's just inconsistent. Consistently. <laughs> It's consistently. it's consistently it's in- inconsistent, which is the best yeah, kind. Yeah, does not change it. That's me playing Captain Falcon in Melee. It's it's great. It no, works don't most bring of the Smash time. Melee references, please. That's right. I did it. Oh I stream Melee too. Follow me. Well, Everybody I, I play Melee too. We should play. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nerd Dude, sauce on is- stream. Literally just DMing me links to epic rap battles of history. I, I don't DM know what too. He just sent me Sir Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye. No. Nerdsaw said, "You know what? I'm too embarrassed to say this on stream, but yes, you're right. 
the guillotine is totally consistent and i'm sorry thank what's that you, all about thank you. and you're not hello voltage gm welcome follow me okay well, we're we're angry right now because nerd sauce can't hit a cleaver for having we're two thousand some kills that they're we're just angry that you know they can't be good scouts i and can't believe it the best i can't believe that you have two thousand kills on it and feel like it's inconsistent it is. I'm speaking purely from... Okay, the direct hit is inconsistent, okay? What? Why? Uh, just hear me out, okay? It's very similar <laughs> to the guillotine. Okay, you know what weapon is inconsistent? The beggar's what? bazooka. That because is, it's okay, coded to be inconsistent. Due to randomness. Due to randomness, yeah. okay? This is so pointless. I, I know, pointless. but I'm having fun. What? I'm having fun. The direct hit fires in a straight line where you click what's inconsistent yeah. about that the inconsistency is that you don't have any action it, like it, you don't, you don't have, have any explosion what? radius it's not that the weapon is inconsistent it's that the damage is inconsistent because you're gonna be missing more but that's true you're gonna but then you you're missing more extra damage yeah. yeah but then you're missing more just hit them <laughs> I, hate, <laughs> I don't know i, I hate know. this i hate okay. this so much okay Okay, okay, fine. We'll move Here. on to the next one. Oh, Tony, right, your okay, right. your thing is busted again. It's four I'm pixels. Sorry. I I know you have no control been, over it. It's purely he, Discord. He, he's getting caught with his pants down. It, the, mil, your milk, pants are down mad, right now. Mad, mad milk. milk? Wait, mad milk is wait, good. We, wait, no, we skipped over the oh. atomizer. Atomizer is good. Oh my I need to God. use it more. I definitely need to use ooh, it more because ooh. I usually use the fish. Wait. Or the rap assassin. I, yeah, no, I put it in the wrong spot. I love the atomizer. I have we, 5, we can't, we can't even atomizer. see the joke that you made. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's so grainy. Hey, you can still make out with the weapon. I mean, kind of. It's right next to Bonk in bad tier. Yeah, they look the same. It? That's why they belong in the same you tier. Are the so funny, it literally says Bonk on the atomizer. No, no, no. He's, you missed, he's got a you point. the obvious joke that you can make with the backscatter. What? The obvious joke that you can make with the backscatter. Come on, guys. Uh, what are you back talking about? Scatter. Come on. I, mean, I, I, I hardly know her. I made a Is joke about the baby faces blaster earlier. You did yeah, not you... say that. Well, yeah, but you didn't say backscatter. I hardly know That's her. That's the most obvious joke in the book. I don't know what Nerd yeah. Sauce is on about. Um, we're gonna Sauce continue clearly on with the high, mad clearly. milk. I am not. <laughs> no. I'm tired. Okay. Okay, I'm Mad sorry. Milk. First yeah, of all, okay. sorry, Atomizer. Sorry. Atomizer. We have it in the same spot. We think yeah. that the Atomizer is good. I think that's yeah. true. I remember when I started TF2, it was the damage, like the third jump damage to you. And yeah. I thought that that was fine. I don't remember having a problem with it. It was but only then, 10 damage. It was only 10 damage? Well, I mean, yeah. 10 damage is a lot for a scout. All of a sudden, you're at, mm, you're at 115. Damage. And then you double jump again, or triple jump again. I, you would use it plenty. If 10 damage is a lot for scout, 30 damage is a lot for heavy. Yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, it's not nothing. There it is. Well, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to continue on with my point. Okay, sorry. Yeah, continue with your I point. I think that... So, I only played with that for a little bit. And I think that the newer version is better. Because, Absolutely. like, the the slower deploy speed makes sense. You shouldn't be able to whip it out, and then all of a sudden you're yeah. able to triple jump as soon as it's in your hand. Um, and I also think that the triple jump is, like, a very good bonus to have. And I also really like the mini crits while you're airborne. I think that's or, a silly little thing that helps out a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the damage, like, damage with melee, I've, I've already, you guys know what I'm going to say. It's useless, in my opinion. I, as a scout man, I never use the damage penalties or uh, damage mini crits, whatever. I just use it for the utility alone. And I think a triple jump is just so powerful for scout, and it's so reliance- and you can just use it, no matter what, and it's 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 great. It's it saved my bacon in so many situations. Okay, what do you think, Tony? 
I yeah. agree with what he said, aside from melee being useless. <laughs> I think yeah, that... Well, smelly, so... I think that the atom atomizer is in a really nice spot. I wouldn't oh, change yeah. anything about it. Absolutely. I wouldn't. What would you change? Uh-oh. I don't know. Let me go to what I wrote down. <laughs> I, I, I know. I'll change it. Oh, you don't have just, any of this stuff memorized? I have yeah. some of it. Yeah, you uh, can have it, any of it memorized. You, you, there should be a vulnerability when no. you have it out. No. What? When you have it out. Only when you have it deployed. The but deploy speed is already good enough. If that was the case, I would say get rid of dis deploy speed. I don't think it should have mm -mm. two downsides that heavy. Yeah. The display not? speed is not, not a little bit. That's a lot. That's a big deal. If you're trying to escape somewhere, it takes forever for it to come out and give you that jump. Okay. Right? I mean, I, yeah. I don't think that... What kind of damage? Like, complete damage penalty? No, no. 15% damage vulnerability while active. 50%? No, not 50, 15. Okay, I was going to say, what are you on? Yeah, 50. Yeah, 50%. 50 I was like, good God. <laughs> the oh triple, that triple jump better be massive. I I think that I think that those two downsides are a little bit too much. I think 50% yeah. damage vulnerability is a lot when it comes to scout. Uh-huh. Sure. That's what I would say. What? I mean, it's, like, it's, it's kind of like just... The Sandman, but only when you have it out. Yeah, the atomizer is basically like the Sandman, but worse, in a nutshell. Basically, worse? Sandman doesn't do anything. That's not what yeah. I was saying. I'm saying, like, if you... The 15% damage vulnerability... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only when you have it out would yeah. be, like, the Sandman's downside, but only when you have it out. And well, you have an me. actually... And you actually have an actually useful upside. You have a triple jump. That's good it would still be a good weapon that wouldn't be too much i think that would be fine yeah i'll see how you could be mad at that chain that's a that's a tough one for me because you're so that would be like it, 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 the main reason for that would be punishing you for flanking and being caught out right that's like the idea you're running around getting all these weird spots and then you get caught out by someone you still have that weapon out then you get hit mm -hmm. right um I need to take a quick break. I'm getting a call that I need to take. Sorry about that. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Hello, chat. What's up, chat? Ele the, why are there 11 viewers, but only one guy is talking? Come on, guys. You forget your Twitch yeah, password? Yeah, guys. I actually did forget my Twitch password. Yeah, me too. I'm watching it. <laughs> I'll log it out. Me too. Yeah. I have like four accounts on Twitch, but I, I don't know how to use a single one. Conga, conga, conga. Yeah, my my name on Twitch was just the real Tim Allen official, but all one word. And whenever I would like follow people and they would try to read my name, they wouldn't, they couldn't read it because it was all one word. So they, they think it said like ethereal time Allen. You know, it's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, do you like my like? Do you like the fact that yeah. I'm showering you? You you would like you, links. You and you sent me the Plants vs. Zombies soundtrack. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't and forget Albert, Albert Einstein. <laughs> Albert Einstein vs. Stephen Hawking. There are 10 million 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 <laughs> I swear, I try not to, like, die out laughing while talking to Don. <laughs> it's so stupid! Yeah, there's a... I sent you Mario vs. Zombies four <laughs> times. Goofy, wacky stuff. Indeed. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a drink while Dawes is on the phone. I would get right a back. drink, but I can't. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Hey Dawes. Uh, Tim went go. He went to go get a drink real quick. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. In this meantime, thank you everybody who came in. This is really fun. I'm having a really fun time. Same. And it's really good to see so many people coming in and and, and cheering and following and stuff. That's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, you better follow. You better follow yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. If you don't follow me, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw He's a He's gonna fit. come to your house and give you a hug. I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna... Somebody called me, told me that I look like a Western European uh, politician. So I'm what? gonna come to your house and I'm gonna politics you. Yeah. 
then You're we'll see. You're about to get politicked. I'm going to politic you off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. And then we huh. would high five, and then we just like maniacally left. Right off into the sunset. Yeah. Can you believe that guy's opinion on Honestly. the candy cane? Mm -mm -mm. That's the one that blows my mind the most. The candy cane is not the worst weapon. The worst melee weapon in the game. Yeah, the... Uh, the the candy cane is, uh, it's, it's good only if you know to dodge. Like, yeah, really but, well like, against demos. you're a scout, so that's, like, your thing, right? Yeah, that is your thing. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Tim, what's Hi, up, man? Hi, buddy. Uh, Hi. Yeah, hey. we're, we weren't talking about anything. What? No. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. I don't... What weapon are we on? What weapon? Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so we were on the Milk? atomizer. Milk? Oh, yeah, yeah we were on milk. Yeah, milk. I mean, Animizer. Yeah, yeah. Did we finish what up hell? what we thought about Animizer? <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah, what happened? Nothing. Tell me. Nothing. What did I Nothing miss? happened. Did with me? If you're good enough at dodging, you don't need the candy cane since you'll eventually never get hit by projectiles and casual. Exactly. Just get yeah. good. <laughs> Skill issue. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to... Brother just walked in the room. The second to last one, both of us have this in the same exact spot, even. Never mind. No, we don't. Um, Mad Milk. Mad Milk mm -hmm. is a great weapon. It's oh, yeah. really, really nice. Uh, Close to overpowered. I would say. But since it relies on your teammates' aim to give them that, that health back, I think it's balanced. It's not... You throw it on someone, and then everyone's getting health, like, automatically. You need to actively yeah. be hitting them to get that health. Call me crazy. Uh, You're crazy. Like, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I think Mad Milk... I, I, I genuinely... I, I think it's in situational. Because... Whoa. It... Yeah, I know. Super... Uh, uh, something. But, um, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so flabbergasted. I'm, I'm not finding my words today. Uh, I'm pretty tired, but... Why is Mad Milk in situational? Okay, so... Uh, I used to use the Mad Milk a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, and I learned that the Mad Milk is just... It, it's very underwhelming. It's good, but for 22 seconds, you don't have a secondary. I mean, that's that's very important. For 22 seconds of TF2 time, you yeah. do not have a secondary. And that's pretty... That's... Even for anything, really, that's really big hey. to give up a scout. Hey, Kurt says. Yeah. What if you started using your melee as your secondary? Oh my god. Because yeah. you do have a second weapon. Tim Timothy, Alan, Richter, the third. <laughs> Yeah. I okay. So in you were that was your argument for it being situational. Uh, well, then the fact that uh you typically you want to make the most out of those twenty two seconds, right? So you want to find a big group of people, uh, and that's pretty difficult to find unless if you're on like a payload cart or anything like that. It's it's difficult to or find on a, a big, point or on a or point yeah around a dispenser. I yeah. I don't think it's hard in casual to find everybody all in a group, right? That's not an uncommon sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even then, the the thing about my milk is, uh, you to get value out of it, you need to put in far less effort than just about every other scout secondary there is. Basically, mm -hmm. yeah. It's on your teammates to get the value. Yeah. I it think is that's a great a... support weapon. I will say that it's. You're uh... right. Not having a secondary is a big deal. Absolutely. But if you are scout, in this, if you're a scout and you use this well, you're not gonna die for those 22 seconds, because they're I covered suppose. in milk. You could just be shooting at them. You can chuck a rap assassin ball, and then they're getting you healed for each tick or whatever. Plus, your entire team is getting that too. And in general, anything that helps out your team instead of you is massive. Like, it, it, but this one does both of you, so that's also really good. Uh -huh. 
I suppose that's fair. The, uh, I don't think it's situational for sure. Underwhelming. I, I would say I underwhelming. I think underwhelming is fair, yeah. Um, Still chill says Mad Milk is OP. I, I do think Mad Milk is pretty... Thing. It's overpowered, but... It's like... It's super overpowered. And then when it's not there, it's just... It's really bad. You know? What's your opinion, Tony? Um... What is my opinion? What Mad is milk? your opinion? I... Ask myself that every day. Okay. Is your milkman? He's not a certified milkman. I am. Uh, sorry. I what am. was the question? Oh What's my. Your, your your milk is in your thing. Do you have a rebuttal against Nerd Sauce putting Mad Milk in underwhelming? Previously situational. Yeah. So he said, not having a secondary on Scout. Big deal. Yep. Yeah. It's less of a big deal than ha not having a secondary on, like, Pyro or something. Which is why uh, the Gas Passer sucks. Um, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's... Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you sacrifice a secondary ranged source of damage, uh, but you apply a debuff instead. Uh -huh. It can fairly reliably save your life or the life of a teammate. But it's not just like an instant win button. It's not I underwhelming. Suppose. It's not overpowered. The only thing I might change about it is maybe maybe you make it something you have to charge with damage. So, so wait, that's not fair. That's not like that unfair. makes sense to me. That makes so sense to me. Something like that. Wait. So why isn't the Mad Milk like underwhelming again exactly? Because you're. It can save your life or a teammate's life. Guys, okay. Alright. Right. Yeah. I didn't see that. Okay. Still Chill makes a pretty decent point. Take on the Gerardi or Mad Milk debate is that Mad Milk can't have its pistol. The pistol is a weapon I tend to overuse a lot. However, on Gerardi, you're not using your secondary very often. So the question is how often does Scout use his secondary weapon? Yeah, that Scout is, uses that his is... secondary weapon plenty. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Because. Your scatter gun is usually gonna get the job done. I don't even oh yeah, remember. usually. Usually but, the pistol is just for like finishing off the job or you know yeah. trying to engage in a battle. And so what can you not do if you have Mad Milk instead? You can't finish off that job. So what do you do? Yeah, you You're probably can run away. No, Actually. you can run at them with your melee weapon, and they can't. That's true. Stop, so, 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 you so, can do that. I'm serious. I'm serious. But then you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> not, not necessarily. Mm, you're way more likely not, to than if you run away. If you're looking for longevity, not, no, not if you're good enough at dodging. As you fragile of a class that you are, how, are, you you how really are you gonna dodge want... when you're running into their face? Yeah, dodging. Spam space bar. <laughs> no, spam then you're. Space bar. If you're then spamming you space bar, the... then you're in the air and sure you can't you can. move. You spam space bar until you're on them. You know what? Oh you God. know what? Try it. I want you to keep that advice in mind when you and I inevitably play a little bit of MG. Hey, and me. Just spam spacebar. Okay. Three-way MG. That's- I love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll know exactly where to place my rocket in that case. Yeah. And you'll be running around with the candy cane. It's gonna be great. Uh -huh. right. Um, I- I think Mad Milk is totally fine. Yeah, I think it's great. Sure. Mad Milk more like bad milk. Ooh. Please laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next weapon. <laughs> it was not funny, but you said please laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, what's you have next? you have all three main scatter guns in at the top of good. Yeah. Probably because the scatter gun intrinsically is just a good weapon. Yeah. Yeah. I think that Scout's scatter gun is the best weapon he has for sure. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Definitely. Hands down. Well. So consistent. Uh, uh oh, Tim. Uh, no. I was gonna like try to make some dumb argument, but I can't. No. Yeah, right. it's, it's just too good. I it it kind of sucks. I wish that it wasn't the like the best one to use in pretty much every situation. It's like, like the any situation. Cross, and, yes, any situation that you have the 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 force of nature. The scatter gun can do it and probably does that better. Except for like yeah. mobility, that kind of thing. So you don't yeah. get that kind of thing, but that's what you have a melee weapon for. That's what you have uh -huh. 
pure winger god for Late me. atomizer. <laughs> the winger, uh-oh. Yeah, for when you really want to jump a little bit higher. Yeah. Why do you have the force of nature, the scatter, scatter gun, and the um, soda popper all right next to each other? Um, because they all deal the most damage. I think, I don't think that the force of nature should be up that high. Then why do cheaters use it? Why do cheaters use it? Because they can't miss. Oh. Bruh. Right. Yeah. But if you're just, if you're good with the Boston Basher, you also can't miss. That's true. You can but melee hit wreck. I mean, even with bots. Yes, exactly. Which is why the Boston Basher... It's uh, terrible. It's so bad. It's not, it's not even terrible. It's just unreal, man. I just can't put it in good. That's fair. Unless if you're like trying to bot like basher jump and do some wacky stuff. I've done, I've gotten some pretty cool kills with basher jump. I think that the basher issue is that <laughs> Tony Allen doesn't get pocket medics. Yeah, that's clearly so his like, issue. That's I why understand so that, but I've got one up my ass all the time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, maybe if I made my in-game name the same as my YouTube name. <laughs> <laughs> Look, say, say that's famous, just the brand, YouTube. okay? I used to put TTV slash Dawes as my username, and I've grown out of that one. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so, you know, I'm not an absolute cretin. I'm not you put creature. YT in your name, Nerdsoft? I used to. No. At least until you're you're out of middle school. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I don't think I'll be able to, uh, say I don't think I'll be able to put YC in anytime soon. I'm trying to finish up the fourth grade. What? Tell Nothing. me that's not true. That is not- <laughs> why would that be true? Dawes, please. He believed it. Oh, oh my god. god. I just kind of met Nerd Sauce, okay? We may I'm have done in, a I'm podcast, school, but we're school. not best friends. In high school? Are, okay. Are, are yeah. we best friends? Yeah. Let's go. Mwah. There you go. You're welcome. I kiss my mic for take, you. You better do take it. Take that nerd sauce. Kiss I your hate you. phone back. Or whatever you use. Right, can we microphone. can we close can we close out with with this uh, uh, maybe maybe a mini discussion? Yeah. Why is it do you think Dawes mm. that it's not worth giving stock weapons or stock melees their own little quirks or sets to make them better? Because I think that's important to learning the game i think that so when you say little stats little quirks are you talking what are you talking are you talking like damage bonuses not necessarily maybe i think if you upped the stock bats damage from 35 to 40 maybe then that would make it 35 to 40 i'll be real it, the stock bat is probably here and underwhelming that's fair but it's I don't know. I think something that on on classes like Soldier, Pyro, and Heavy, I think their melees, their stock melees need something. Because they're not a melee, they're not a class that should be getting melee stuff, so they should have they, an, a reason to get a melee thing? Yeah. yeah just so, like a I disagree. So, that's the point. Okay. That's why it doesn't do anything. That's why medics melee or sorry not medicum pyro's Armor. melee doesn't do or, sure. melee doesn't do anything because you're not supposed to be going for melee hits you're not supposed to do that your melee is reserved for something else that's special right. how so do you teach them you that it, how do you teach them utility? well because you're teaching the player that you should not as a medic you should not be using your bone saw unless that's all you have left like you're just getting overrun by a spy and you're gonna die anyway may as well throw out a melee hit Right, it's that's teaching you. You're not the melee class. You aren't using your melee. You are doing. You're you're supposed to be healing people. I agree. I think stock weapons are supposed to show the core of that class. Like they're supposed to show what their role is, and how like it's supposed to like how that class is supposed to be used. It's it's like most basic form. Mm. I think it can be interpreted that way, but I think that's definitely not the way the game was designed. I don't think so, but that's 
that gets into a weird discussion between like developer intent and, and artistic interpretation. Yeah. That's 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 a that is an interesting topic. Though. I'd love to talk about that later. I think that like like who's which class has the best stock weapon? Or sorry, stock Dog melee. Weapon? Stock melee. Sniper. Uh, if you if you, ex if you exclude engineer and spy sniper. I'm what? Excluding. How that. is it sniper? What? I'm not excluding those two. That's my point. I'm getting at. Who's the best okay, so well, melee weapon? Spy. It's it's spy. Yeah, without it, like yeah. kill someone in one hit. That's insane, because that's his gameplay. That's what you're trying to teach the player. If you get a backstab, they're just dead. They can't counter that at all. So go go do that. If you're playing s scout and you go and smack someone twice and you're doing 80 damage or like you know whatever. That's okay. They're not trying to show you that's okay. They're trying to say, no, you have a scatter gun. Go I can, shoot them for way more damage. I can get behind that idea. So I'm th so I'll suggest what if you buff these weapons in a way that you keep that uh, teaching process, I suppose you, you would describe it as. I guess so. As like a more but so by making the buff a more sort of passive thing, the player might not might notice. Did I say? N Might not notice. Yeah. Might not. Um. Yeah. Can you give me an example of that? Like so a damage like resistance when you pull less, up melee like, or something? Yeah, like a fire damage resistance on that's gonna, the fire axe or something. Then but, so this is but, just or like on soldier. Here's one that yeah. I that I really like. A fall, a, like a really high fall damage resistance for the stock shovel on soldier. I like that. Why? So that's a way to kind of, to deal with one problem with rocket jumping. There's fall damage. Why? Why do you need to do? You need to learn that it does damage to you. You need to learn that falling is not you, okay. It's damaging you. Yeah, and you can learn that by you know using. You gotta learn how to maneuver your rocket jumps. I, not I like... when you not when you first get into the game. If you first get into the game and you're learn, say you're like, oh, I heard about this game. You can rocket jump. I want to do that. And you go and do that, and you're landing with. You know, you're landing, hitting the ground, whatever. And you're taking less damage because you have your shovel out. Assume that they know to take their shovel out while they're rocket jumping. Then they're going to think, okay, so this, like, taking fall damage is fine if I'm holding my shovel out. That's cool. But then they should be paying attention on not taking fall damage. You don't learn to do that by taking re a resistance to fall damage. You should learn that by taking fall damage and then saying, wait, maybe going up high is not a good idea maybe i should go more horizontal that's the learning curve there for medic if it was you whip out your bone saw and you have uh you, your your health gets regained like plus three times or whatever i don't know three three more per second then you're gonna train the medic oh having my melee out is good it heals me faster Me medic shouldn't have his melee out half the time he should do it any other time really only when he's getting chased down i think that's still a bad issue i think stock mm -hmm. weapons should be like they are mm -hmm. the game's been around for mm -hmm. 15 years now i think that it's tough to to want to put a buff onto a weapon that has whether like whether or not it was designed with that intention, that's what it's become. It has become the the learner tool. The syringe gun, you should not be shooting that thing. And it should not oh, yeah. be buffed. Why? Because you're not shooting people. You shouldn't be shooting people. You should, you should be, be healing, healing people. people. Yeah. Classes... Like, I, I lean more towards... It would be kind of okay to buff this stock weapon with different classes. Medic... Hell no. Medic, you should learn exactly what you're doing with your medigun. Engineer, maybe, maybe the wrench could use a buff, but any buff I can think of is detrimental. That's where but I stand on it. what class? Engineer. Yeah, you don't need a buff engineer. No. Engineer, stock engineer demo man, shouldn't, if... You take less blast damage with Demo Man Bottle or something like that. You're going to learn, oh, so this is fine as long as I have my melee out. When that's not the case. That's not what you should be doing. And well, no other I weapon the, gives you that. When I said the thing about, like, the soldier 
Fall damage. I don't, you shouldn't have to have it out. Just having the shovel equipped. That's even... That... Then it becomes... Then it's still gonna be a, a, a tool for someone who doesn't know how to rocket jump correctly. I mean... Not really. It's it's inciting it's incentivizing you not to learn how to rocket jump without taking fall damage. When they should be learning how to rocket jump without taking that fall damage. Okay, yeah, and they can do that if they want to use better melees. Then then that's when they would start to not or that's when they would start to rocket jump correctly when they get the unlock. I think that's a bad idea. I don't think that that makes much sense. I don't think that's what the stock weapons are for. Saying, which one's I don't think that's what they're for. I think they are useless, at least in the case of soldier, pyro, and heavy. I think that that's their point. That that's why they're they're useless because you shouldn't be using these. Soldiers should not be shooting or smacking someone with a shovel until you get Why unlocked. Not? Oh, now I can get more damage by swinging at low health? That's sick. I'm going to hit someone with a shovel. And then you realize, oh, I still die really oh. fast. But this upside's cool. No, that's... I feel like that's just because the equalizer also sucks. Yes. It does suck. If What if the equalizer was like stock what if it was stock what if stock had the equalizers properties that would be an issue i have a thing to go to at six. Oh. Okay. so but i think that this was really cool yeah yeah i really want to do the other classes like soon okay okay are we are we just going down the line with next week pyro is that right soldier mm, yeah next would be soldier soldier i've got i think that we've both got good opinions on soldier maybe i'm a soldier main so i know what i'm talking about you're not a soldier man you're a scout man you've said that five what? times i'm a scout main you've said that five times that since when? Oh my God. nerd sauce that was like the time i uh, told everyone about autumn work out and you're like that's crazy i'm a medic man now <laughs> i, <laughs> I wow. did do that didn't i mm -hmm. okay well Everybody who came in to watch, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do one of these for each and every class, and it's going to be great. Absolutely. Nerd Sauce, I guess, can come in if he wants, but he better make it to your wow. list next time. Okay, I will. I will. I promise. Okay, good. Thank you very much, yeah. Tony Allen, for coming up with this idea with me um, and, and, and letting me argue with you. But it's okay because people who love each other fight sometimes, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's going to be in this stream. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.